On this Halloween Eve, one home in Wellesley is offering an unforgettable haunted house experience from animatronics to ghost illusions. Now, last year, Stanley Helinski's haunted house was only open on Halloween. But now he's giving the public even more time to visit after putting over a month's work into the impressive display. WBC's Laura Haefeli visited the spooky spectacle. On an unassuming street in the middle of a quiet Massachusetts town, terror awaits victims, I mean visitors, to a homemade haunted house. She is truly horrifying. For years, Stanley Helinski dreamt of turning his backyard on Parker Street in Wellesley into a nightmare. I love Halloween. The reactions are unbelievable. After plenty of planning and design help from his daughter, his backyard has turned into a Halloween haven for scare seekers. 100% love doing this. He used tarp, plastic, and rope to hold the structure in place and on the inside, props like ghosts, ghouls, skeletons, and tombstones inspired by haunted theme parks and his favorite famous Halloween characters. Where'd you get that? Party City. The project gave him a break from his day job as a trial lawyer. What's scarier, the courtroom or your haunted house? Courtroom by far. I'll be the judge of that. Just go through this before I go through. Nope. Is she going to move? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so there, and there she goes. We'll just give her a little high five. Nice to meet you. This is the clown room. Uh, despite what my new friend here might think, this haunted house is anything but funny. All ages are welcome, but beware, it gets a little scary. Some people are super excited um, as they come out. Some are crying. I put candy at the end to get them through, I guess. Stan is hoping neighbors take advantage of the experience, promising it will remain free of charge. The joy of people coming out after, saying that was so awesome, like I just love that. The haunted house will be open on Halloween and the weekend to follow. In Wellesley, Laura Haefeli, WBZ News. All right, I feel like I know you well enough now to know you're not going in there. Nope, I'm going <laughs> to let you go right in, and I'm going to say I'm going to meet you at the end. I knew you were going to say it. I knew it. We'll be right back.